Welcome back to the Project Return Online Classroom. My name is Elizabeth and I'm your Program Manager. And today we're going to talk about Abraham Maslow and the hierarchy of needs. Now Abraham Maslow was born in 1908 and he was one of seven children. I do not envy his mom. And he spent a great deal of his younger life studying primates, the Rhesus monkeys. And what he found when he observed them is that they had several deficit needs. And he conceptualized this as a pyramid. And the first four, the deficit needs, are the most important to achieving what is at the top of the pyramid, which is called self-actualization. And so let's go through the pyramid first. So think of it again as a pyramid, and the bottom need at the very bottom is the most important need that needs to be filled, fulfilled before you can ascend the pyramid. So the first need, the physiological needs. And what does that mean? That can be our need for water, fresh, clean water to drink, air to breathe, clean air. It can be food, nutritious food. It can also be um, vitamins and minerals that we need. It can also be our need for um, homeostasis when it comes to our temperature. We don't wanna live in somewhere that's too cold or too hot because then we'll overheat and we could potentially die. Same thing with water, air, and food. We need all of those things to ensure survival. And the body is, has a funny way of telling us this stuff too. If we're hot, we sweat. If we're cold, we shiver. If we are needing vitamins like vitamin C, our body will send us craving signals for things like orange juice. So those are our physiological needs. The next are our safety needs. And what do those safety needs look like? Well, our most obvious need for safety is somewhere to live, somewhere to stay, somewhere where we can shelter, rest, and digest, as they say. It could be a home. It could be a safe neighborhood. It could be um, a safe car that you have to drive, and it satisfies our physical need for safety and protection. And our safety needs also include the want and desire for predictability um, and security. So protection, predictability, security, all of these things are safety needs that are necessary for us to ascend the pyramid. So again, first was our physiological needs, then was our safety needs. So the, the third one is our needs for belonging, our needs for belonging and love. And so what does that look like? Well, we want to belong to something bigger than ourselves, like we belong to Project Return. We want to belong to a community of people. We want to have relationships. Our need for belonging means reaching out, making connections and facilitating relationships between you and other people. So belonging needs. And the issue with belonging needs, when we start to in incorporate our need for belonging, we also can see when we have a deficit of those needs, an increase in our feeling of loneliness, our increase in our dissatisfaction as we described yesterday. And so in this need for belonging is the need for intimacy, for close connections, for bonds. And we want that thing that's greater than ourselves. So that could be a community group, it could be a church, it could be all kinds of different things. So then our fourth need to ascend to is our need for esteem. What is esteem? Okay, self-esteem is the obvious one. So Maslow said there were higher needs and lower needs. So the lower needs are needs for things like respect of our community. Remember, we've satisfied our needs for belonging. We satisfied our needs for security and our physiological needs. And now we have our esteem needs. So that can be esteem looking for um, acknowledgement for um, an accomplishment that you've had. It could be for something as simple as glory. <laughs> Maybe not simple, but glory or fame. Those are our, our lower esteem needs. And then our higher esteem needs are the first one that I mentioned, which is self-esteem which is the thing that says, I am good and I have good traits. And hopefully in our discussion about understanding our problems and discussion about gratitude yesterday, you're starting to see some of these connections. So our needs for esteem. The negative version of esteem is low self-esteem, uh, a lack of confidence, um, a feeling of inferiority. All of those things can occur when we have a deficit in our need for esteem. And so we call these first four stages in the hierarchy of needs, deficit needs. 
So we, we need we need all of these things to, to have our homeostasis, not just our physical homeostasis, but our emotional homeostasis. And when we think about these first four parts of the pyramid, Maslow said they were flexible. So in the example that I gave you of being hungry and then being choked hold, um, your, your immediate need for air is gonna take precedence. But then what about artists? Artists can oftentimes satisfy their feelings of community with still being, as they say, a starving artist, not having their financial needs, their financial security and safety taken care of. But then their needs for belonging could still be met and they could still be forming bonds in their community. And let's think about human development. So in the first stage, the physiological stage, is where we're needing all those things for our biological survival. And we can equate that to something like an infant. An infant's needs are for biological survival. It needs to eat, it needs to sleep, it will cry when it needs either of those things. And so then we get a little bit older and our needs for safety become important. And then our needs for, you know, up and up the triangle we go. And then um, whenever we feel threatened, again, thinking about these deficit needs, we sometimes can regress. So if we have feelings of self-esteem in our community and we're doing really well, but then we encounter a stressor or circumstance that, that shifts our focus, we may regress and, and focus more on our safety needs, like our financial security here again. So then the last step in the pyramid is self-actualization. And we're not gonna to talk too, too broadly about this or, or too, too um, specifically about this because self-actualization is the most contentious aspect of Maslow's theory, but it's also the one most sought after. And so what is self-actualization? It's that moment in our development and in our personality, in, our, in the theory of our personality where we want to be all that we can be, where we wanna fulfill all of our potential. And for an example, the artist is self-actualized, creates works of art, um, and then at the same time might potentially not have their, their financial needs for food and safety um, satisfied, but still self-actualized. Now, um, Maslow argued that you could only feel self-actualized when your deficit needs were taken care of. So in the example of the artist, do you think that the artist could be self-actualized without having their previous needs met? What do you think? And then he also felt that once self-actualization was achieved, it's always achieved, that it's always there, that it's always been achieved. So what do you think about that? And then also, he, here's an argument for you, Viktor Frankl. Remember, we talked about Viktor Frankl as a concentration camp survivor who had the theory about meaning found in suffering. So Viktor Frankl did not have many of his needs met, but we could consider him self-actualized based on his ability to survive and develop his theory on personality development. So the other limitation about self-actualization is that Maslow felt that self-actualization was derived from a select number of people who he felt were self-actualized and they had specific traits. So we're not gonna talk specifically about that because I just wanna focus on the most important aspect of it to me, which is the feeling of needing to be fulfilled, the need to be all that you can be, the best that you are. And so those are the five hierarchy of needs. And hopefully by discussing them, you will be able to determine at which stages you're at. Are your physiological needs taken care of? Are your safety needs taken care of? Are your needs for belonging and love being taken care of? And then also your esteem. Do you have self-esteem issues? Do you feel esteem from other people? Do you feel supported by me um, at the center? Do you feel like you have the capabilities to achieve self-actualization, to be all that you can be? So remember, the five hierarchy of needs are <laughs> physiological, safety, belonging, esteem, and self-actualization. So we'll talk more about this in the weeks to come, but I hope you enjoyed this discussion on Maslow and have a great day. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you soon.